What's going on everybody? Got something new for you today. Got the Barami hip grip for J-Frame 357 38 specials, you know, J-Frame revolvers essentially. Uh, it's going to replace the standard grip, just like any other aftermarket grip would. Comes in two pieces, a screw, nut. Now after you've taken off your stock grip, which is just two rubber pieces, a bigger screw, you're going to take these guys right here, take your nut, Just kind of push it in there. Oh. All right. We don't want to try and lose this guy. I, I thought it fell on the floor. It didn't. And I kind of panicked. It's small. So anyways, take her nut here. Put it in there. Line that up. And it just fell out again. Alright, try to keep that guy in there. Take your other side. Make sure it's getting tight. And voila. Now there are some gaps. Um, they're not hard edges. I mean, <clears throat> I kind of grip on it just fine. My thumb does rest on here compared to the stock grip. I've heard a lot of people say it's not really meant for hot loads, but you're not really changing this grip out to go plinking with. You're changing this grip out for concealed carrying, which I will show you what it looks like real quick. All right, so I just installed the Barami hip clip on my model 6357 Smith & Wesson. I'm a relatively small guy. I'm six foot one. I barely weigh like 155 pounds, roughly. That sits right here. I have mine going under, under my belt. Some people want it to go over their belt. It's a little bit more snug like that. It sits a smidge higher. Not by much. Still, the shirt is a small, so nothing too baggy. So what it is right here, you got that nice little gap. Now, I was originally thinking about heating this up potentially because it's, you know, just plastic. Heating this up a smidge and then possibly bending it towards the, the frame of the gun a little bit just to get it a little bit more snug grip. Uh, I will be wrapping this with like sport tape or something just to get that little extra grip. That's what it looks like right there. It's nothing fancy. It's definitely smaller than the stock grip. For all you safety people out there. Yep, it's empty. But yeah, let's take this. Go over the belt. Go under the belt. It 
does sit in there a little bit low when it's on the pants itself. So it's kind of kind of hard to grip right away. That might be a downside to some people, but it's a nice deep concealment. And if it sits right there, it's a little bit easier to grip. Like I said, I'm a smaller guy, so if you have like a belly or something like that, it might be a smidge different for you. Other than that, that is my Smith & Wesson Model 60 357 Magnum with the Barami hip grip.